Good morning again. I've got another food for thought. I'm Maurice Barrett. And I've been thinking this week about perseverance. The Bible says we're in a battle. If you're a Christian, you're certainly in a battle. And you never win a battle without this quality, this wonderful quality of perseverance. You know, Peter tells us about this battle. 1 Peter 2.11 may surprise you. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from freshly lusts which war against your soul. The battle that we're in is not against other Christians and it's certainly not against devils because we're supposed to cast them out. We have authority over demons, so cast them out. We don't fight them, we cast devils out. The battle is in our mind which war against our soul. Romans 7.23 Paul's got this dilemma because with his mind he's decided to serve the Lord of God. But he says there's another Lord in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. That's the battle. That's the mother of all battles. It's in the mind. The Bible says bringing every thought into captivity. The thoughts, because you're battling against the spirit, because we're in the flesh, the flesh fights against the spirit. So my pride, my lust, my self esteem, all these things that, that I want, I've got to relinquish to gain Christ. So there's a, there's a battle on. And we need perseverance for it. Well, Paul tells us to put the armour on so that we can stand in the evil day. He doesn't say so we can fight, it's so we can stand, so we can persevere and stand when things come against us. Ephesians 6 verse 13 Wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all stand. Standing isn't fighting, it's persevering, it's standing when the onslaught comes and the battle's in the mind. Well, the other illustration that the Bible gives is that we're in a race. You know, and you can't finish any race without perseverance. I used to run the mile for the school. And uh, you have to persevere. You get a stitch and you get your second wind and it's difficult. You, you need perseverance and patience. 1 Corinthians 9.24 Don't you know that they which run a race run all, but only one receives the prize? So you've got to be focused. You can't look at the other runners. It doesn't matter. We should take our eyes off other Christians. This is a marathon, don't forget, not a hundred yard spin, so you've got to be prepared to persevere. And Paul says, so run that you may obtain. In other words, be focused on your own walk with God. Don't look at others, it'll distract you from the race if you're looking at the competition. You run the race as though you're the only one in it. Well, Hebrews 12, verse 1. Paul says this, Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So we should work at it and not give up when adversity comes our way. You know, Jesus gave many parables to illustrate that. He said, if you put your hand to the plough and look back, you're not fit for the kingdom of God if you can't persevere when the test comes. He gives another illustration about building a house. He said, what man building a house doesn't sit down because it's a big project, it's a marathon, and see whether he can finish it, whether he's got the means and the materials to finish it, or will become a, la a laughing stock. What's Jesus saying? Don't start what you can't finish. And he gives another illustration. What man going to war doesn't first assess whether he's got power to, over the enemy or else he'll surrender. In other words, give up before you start. 
So, so many Christians are like a bullet to China shop. They think they can achieve things. They've never sat down and thought, will I pay the cross? What if God doesn't want me to marry? What if, if God wants me to sacrifice my own life on the mission field? What if? We never consider the what if, and yet Jesus warns and says, sit down and think about discipleship. You're saved and it's free, but discipleship will cost you everything and you need perseverance and patience. James 1 verse 3 says, Knowing this, that the trusting of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have a perfect work and be entire and perfect, lacking nothing. Patience and perseverance are very closely connected. Let me give you the definitions of perseverance. Continued effort to do and achieve something despite difficulties, failure or opposition. You'll have many failures as a Christian. You'll have much opposition. But perseverance is the ability to achieve despite that. Sometimes it's good to look at the opposite of a word, the antonym. Let me give you some of the antonyms of a perseverance, apathy. None of these should be named uh, to a Christian. Apathy, cowardice, indifference, weakness, idleness, indolence, laziness. This, these should be words that are put against a Christian. And patience, the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, problems or sufferings without becoming annoyed or anxious. You should engrave that on your heart, Christians. The capacity to accept or tolerate delay, problems or sufferings without becoming anxious or annoyed. That's patience, patience, perseverance. We need it as a Christian. Well, many times Paul exhorts us not to be weary. Have patience, persevere. Let me finish by reading them. Romans 2, 7. To them who by patience, continuance in well-doing, seek for glory and honour and immortality of life. You need patience to attain the crown. Galatians 6, 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not if you persevere, if you have patience. And the last one, 2 Thessalonians 3.13, But you, brethren, don't be weary in well-doing. Well, I hope I've challenged you, and I hope you're going to think about having patience and perseverance more than you ever had. You'll need it in these last days. Well, time's gone to have a wonderful day, full of resolve, determination, patience, perseverance, and... Keep thinking.